Hello, friends and family. My name is Daniel Burrell, and welcome to Happier Days Mental Health. Today, we're doing a bit of a vlog. I'm out here. I can't really see. I'm out here with my son. He's climbing his castle that is apparently this 10-foot tall snowbank. <laughs> Just wanted to say hi. My videos haven't been able to upload lately because our internet is garbage. <clears throat> and also, apparently, our iPad is garbage, so that's been fun. I've, uh, I have a new job, new, um, not exactly new. I've worked at this place before, actually. I'm not going to give the name for obvious reasons, but I've worked there before. They were fabulous. I only left because I wanted to do the stay-at-home dad thing with Felix for a while. And then it just turned into a long while because we had faith as well. <laughs> so... It's, uh, I'm really excited to get back into it. I'll be an educational assistant. Uh, they send educational assistants to schools to work one-on-one -on -one with kids with learning disabilities and uh, speech issues and so on. It's really fun work. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it last time I did it and I'm looking forward to it again. And yeah, I start tomorrow. I just had to... I had to get all my paperwork done. I had to get like a criminal record check and all that stuff because I'm working with kids. But I'm very excited to start again at this job. It should be really fun. And uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to watch <clears throat> Felix here as well as record this. I'm also recording this on my phone because um, I don't have a computer right now, so I can't record slash edit anything on my video camera because I have no way of transferring the data and I have no editing software. So I'm just doing this on my phone. This is going to be totally unedited. And um, yeah, it, this is basically just a... Hey, hello. I'm not dead. I have been recording. I have stuff ready to go on YouTube and nothing is going on YouTube. I'm doing this on my LTE. I'm uploading this because we just got a new data plan and we have lots more data. So I'm hoping that I can just upload this fully on my phone and not worry about it. But I, I guess I guess we'll see when this goes up. I might I might make another video and say, holy crap, I used all my data. <laughs> Hopefully not though. Um I also just wanted to briefly touch on something. Since I got a job, I've uh, been thinking about this. I have my Twitter, uh Happy Days Mental Health, at HD Mental Health on Twitter. Give me a follow. <laughs> And I talk about uh, mental health strictly, basically, on there. And I talk about uh, different issues that other people that I follow bring up. And I like it's it's just a really good safe space to talk about stuff. And it's a really good platform to talk about stuff and not worry about being judged, because everyone who follows me follows me because they want to work on their mental health and that's awesome so I follow someone I don't I don't even remember who it was that posted this but they posted about uh, your job equating to your self-worth they were in a bad place a few weeks ago and they were hospitalized they were in a psychiatric ward of a hospital and they, they were in there for about a week or so. Then they got out and he said uh, two days maybe after he got out, people were saying, so when are you going to get a job? And that's not right. He's been out of the hospital for a couple of days. He's obviously not in a good mental state right now. Obviously, we all want to be able to work. Like I, n not working for me is always tough because like I love my kids and I don't want this to seem like well oh, I can't stay home with my kids because I'll die but it's like I I like working because I like having a chance 
to go out, be productive, come home, hang out with my kids and not spend literally all day with my kids because then you you get a little tired of them, not going to lie. I love my kids, but man, I'm excited to go to work. But uh, you need to remember that your job does not equate to your self-worth. Like I make YouTube videos, I make no money off of this, but I think this is more worthwhile than a lot of the stuff I do because I'm being productive, I'm working towards something, and it's something that's important to me. Whereas a lot of people say, oh, well, if you're not working a nine to five job, then what are you doing with your life? If you're working towards yourself, then that's what matters. If you're working on your mental health, that's what matters. If your mental health doesn't allow you to work, then you're not worth any less than any other person. If your mental health doesn't allow you to drive, then figure that out. If you can't work, you can figure that out. It's not it's not going to make you less of a person or worth anything less because <clears throat> because you can't work, you can't drive, you can't do this, you can't do that. We all have different functions and abilities that we're all, like possibly uh, like that are possible for us and that the, this is where I would usually edit that out <laughs> we all have different possibilities that are open to us really and we all have different things that we can do in our lives but the important part is remembering what your limit is if you can't work at the moment because you're not in a good place mental health wise then don't work work on your mental health be be your best self and do what's best for you. Um, yeah, I don't want to ramble on too much about that, so I'll uh, I'll get back to get back to freezing with my little little friend here, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to follow me on Twitter <laughs> at HD Mental Health, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.